Right, just clean round the plug holes with the uh, old method of stick a screwdriver into a rag and wiggle it round. Uh, put about two litres of water in the radiator and it sunk right down and it's gone in. It hasn't leaked out the bottom so it must be going through the thermostat. Filled up again so I'll probably put about, I don't know, three or three and a half or four litres of uh, water in it. Uh, I'm going to try and spin it over. I've actually given you a tour of the interior, have I? A um, couple of cracks in the dash. Well, it's been out in the California sun. The headlining looks reasonable. And I put these covers on the door cards. I will, oh, maybe I'll do another video on that another day. Probably cut a month's time or something. I'll have a look at the interior. Um, yeah, the seats are a bit cracked. That's just a hose I found upstairs from my stock. It might work, but the seats are uh, been covered up. Hopefully they might be okay. Um, again, any Japanese viewers can tell me if uh, everything looks like it should be or if anything's missing. Right, I've connected up the battery. Mm, a light is on. Ooh. Went uh, uh, and then stopped. Right, we have bad earth on the star. Let's have a look. Right, I have turned the engine over and it does rotate all the way around. Um, this is the solenoid to the starter. Oh, oh it is. It is. Here we go. You can hear a dink dink metallic. Something sounds like it's touching something else. It could just be like a fan blade. Let's we'll see. Connect up the plug, so we'll see if it's got a spark. Right. Turn the ignition on. Right, orange lights on. Don't even see it on there, but it is clicking. It's got this live. Right, W twenty FPs going in. Oh, I almost forgot to add the uh, yeah little packet of uh, grease comes in with the points, so you put that round the distributor. It to ride on. Uh, put plugs in, the leads on with the telltale. I've already got ahead of myself. I have only turned it over a little bit, but it looks like it's starting to pump that old fuel up. So let's disconnect this. I'll probably disconnect the pump down there. There's a rubber hose there, which is a rock hard. So I'm going to take that off, undo this union, and put a gravity feed on it. Right, I took that pipe off the bottom of the pump and it dribbled a bit. Uh, the one at the top there hasn't, so there might be a bit of the old fuel in the pump, but it's not gone up to the carbs. Right, I've taken that feed pipe, just undid it, took it off and I'll put it up. So, that cover we took off was clean. I'll have a quick look in there if that's clean. I'm just gonna put a gravity feed pipe on that. Oh, this is just a quick one of the uh, what the plugs look like. Didn't show him any other video. Um, and that's the old points. Um, now, I did just think, having a twin cam, I thought, well, I better maybe just take the cap off and at least I can just run some oil over the cams. And out of curiosity, because I haven't had a look in here myself, so you can have a look with me if I can get it off one handed. Oh, there's that clip there. I'm going to have to undo that. Hold on. Right, it was just caught on that clip, so I did it two-handed. I have got another one of these gaskets. 
so I'll go and get that. It's broken there, there, and at the front there. But the cams look nice and clean. Yeah, you've got to be happy with that, haven't you? I'll just pour a bit of oil over there, I think, and um, go from there. That's not in there, that's just a one thing from the battery. Right, just pick this off. This is actually dry, and inside there was dry. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, clean. So yeah, it hasn't run for a while. I'd probably say at least five years, maybe longer, who knows. Petrol could be 10 years old, don't know. Speculation. Right, we have a, well, not new, old gasket that was in it. Um, I like the tack of it super glue on the corner because it had actually broken, but um, it will do for now. I have got another one that's new, new, but uh, we'll see if it runs first before we uh, do that. Right, we have gravity feed petrol. Might just take these covers off just so we can see in case uh, the fuel starts dribbling back out. So let me go with fill it up with petrol. I'm not coming out the front, so they must be filling up. I can hear it glugging. Don't know if you can hear that on the video, if it'll pick it up. They will take about a cup full in each uh, reservoir. Yeah, probably two or three hundred mil. A good, like, you know. I'm still pouring it in there. Oh, that's it, right, that's dribbling out of there, so. Right, I've just soaked a bit up. It was flooded completely in there. So I think the float bowls are probably stuck down. So it's poured fuel in. And uh, I just took the plugs out because you can see the little puddle in there. It's um, obviously where that valve number three inlet valve has been open. It's just flooded and dropped her fuel straight in there. So I'm just gonna spin it over or soak that fuel up. I'll just dab a rag in there and soak it up. Right, just uh, maybe could blow it out with an airline or um, spin it over and see. There's lots of ways to skin a cat. Still, that's uh, still wet in there. soak it up but Yeah, I think the float's going to be stuck down, so I'm just going to take the take the choke cable off and uh, undo these two unions, set the lids off. We'll have a look. Right, there's still a bit leaking out of the tube, which proves that those seals are okay. The pipes off. This one come off easy. This one, uh, the gasket's a bit stuck under there. Let's say I have got gaskets, but 
I want to save them for when I take them off and strip them and rebuild them. For now, I just want an object to see if it'll go. So I'm going to just try and ease this off with a razor blade on my pen knife. Right, I just mopped out that fuel. Obviously, it is a bit darker, so whether it was a bit of residue in there or whether it was just, you know, like the treacle left over. So it could be that they were like that one was stuck on the corner. So I'm going to rub the corners of these off, clean that out with a bit of cotton or something, and then I'll just tip some fuel in there and see. Right, just cleaned it out and put some uh, clean stuff in. We'll put the lids back on and see. I'll clean the corners of those floats off. Just it's just a little bit of stuff. Check that the uh, valves are all right, which I think they are now. Right now, back together. You see that little level there. The fuel is filling out the pipe, so the floats are both shutting off, and it's not dribbling out. Right, I've set up my little camera assistant on the tripod. We'll see if this works. Right, no spark. No spark. Well, that was my fault. If keen-eyed viewers, I had actually knocked the uh, HT lead off the coil, so we'll try again. Right, I've just freed up the throttle stop screw so I might be able to keep it running. Right, ignition on again. long enough that I can look at the instruments. <laughs> Again. Hi, 
ignition back on. All right, the throttle stop screw doesn't work. <laughs> Yeah, I reckon that's probably, uh, well, jet's not being very good. I'll we'll have to strip the carbs and then see if it's got oil pressure another time. So anyway, that's it for now. See you soon. Please like and subscribe.